Oh boy, oh boy. Just when you think life couldn't get any worse for PlayStation and Sony fans. God damn, Sony are the biggest scoundrel scumbags in the universe. Have you seen the news? So I saw this culture crave on Twitter. They posted this. As of the 31st of December, due to our content licensing arrangement with providers, we will no longer be able to watch any of your previously purchased Discovery content and the content will be removed. So basically what that means is if you gave us money for a product, you no longer have that product. This shit is a joke. Sony are truly off their heads if they think this is acceptable. How, in what aspect of life ever, have you ever bought something and not got it? It's like if you went and bought a game and then they said, nah, you can't play it. When does this stop? When does this end? But let's check out the TV shows. Luckily, the TV shows are like that stuff you watch when you're like stoned off your head and you've taken an edible that you didn't know who made it. That sort of thing. You know, you've got stuff about Alaska, Alaskans, American Chopper, American Badass, uh, Apocalypse, Bad Blood, Barbecue Pitmasters, which to me sounds kind of uh, like my cup of tea. Biblical Conspiracies. Jesus, that does sound sensual. Bitchin' Rat season one to four god damn that's heartbreaking actually i'm gonna really miss bitching rides cost me a lot of money and a lot of cash but i guess i should have just bought it on physical dvd really breaking amish sounds religious cake boss now that is a true l something i can't actually fathom how and how why do they think it's acceptable to get rid of 99 seasons cake boss cheating vegas got cold diggers have to be careful when saying that one. Uh, dangerous Persuasions, Dark Matters. Let's scroll down a bit. There must be something better. Ghost Asylum. I uh, saw those in Alien 1. Gypsy Sisters. What a what a show like that sounds. Heartbreakers. Oh, Hitler. Fucking hell. Hitler, The Rise and Fall. Hitler's Zombie Army. They got rid of a lot of Hitler stuff. I hope the Germans are able to get over it. Homicide Hunter. Hot Grease. Iron Resurrection. Look, just a lot of shite, basically. So if you bought one of these, you're an idiot. Let's get this straight. This is crap. Motives and Murders. That's maybe a good show, actually. That sounds cool. Mountain Monsters, sounds bullshit. Murder Call, you know, there's loads of stuff. But the problem I have with this is how can you buy something from Sony and then they go, actually, you don't own it anymore? That's outrageous. It's bloody outrageous. You can't pay for something and not get it back. It's a joke. These... So, you know, I honestly think Xbox are uh, sort of like the better company at the moment. I think they could surpass d Sony because they keep just doing dumb shit. And I know what you might say. Why does it matter? Who cares? These are such terrible, pointless shows on Discovery. Well, some people care. Firstly, you twat. And secondly, when does it end? If they can do this with these sort of shows, when can they go, well, actually, everything you've bought, you don't own. They brought out a PS5 with no disc to force you to get digital things. If they remove a game from the digital library, that means you don't have it anymore then. That means it, it, you can't play. It. How's that fair? You spend a lot of money, your hard-earned cash on a game you like, and they can just go, yeah, we're removing it. Now, I'm not saying they're going to do that, but if they do this, it means they certainly can do it, doesn't it? Let, let's be real, you know, if you like Naked and Afraid Season 6, Episode 12, you can no longer watch it on the um, PlayStation Store, which I think is very, very confusing, and the, the wrong choice, to be frank. I know it's a licensing agreement, and these things are complicated, and words I will never be able to spell, never mind say. However, it doesn't give them the right to do it. Look at Xbox Game Pass, for example. Sony have losing, they're losing the battle in terms of Game Pass, aren't they? Sony's is shit. Xboxes is really good. Sony need to go at it a different, have more exclusives. They know this, that, and the other. However, if you go and you say that these licensing agreements are out and run out, you can't watch any of your previously purchased stuff from said provider, whatever, what have you, what gotcha, they're just going to take it. They're just going to keep your cash. You won't get your money. And they'll go, well, you signed the agreement. You still have read the T's and C's. Bruh, who reads the T's and C's? Yes, but what are you on about? It's why physical media is so more important. I'm a physical guy, both with my big ass biceps and and my content, all right? I like physicality. Mm. Physical. Let's get physical. Let's But I, you know, I like a game, a content, I like a steel case or something like that. A proper disc, you know, where you have to stand up and put it in the machine like that. I'm one of them old bats, I know it's crazy. The things I do to play games, stand up off my chair, put it in, hit the button, eject it. Sometimes put it back in the case, sometimes I'll just leave it there because I'm lazy, you know what I mean? But we live life on the edge, we don't give a fuck. All seriousness though, this is a serious concern I have. The problem is like, if you get rid of the cash, the banks have all the money, you know what I mean? They control it all. It's the same here, if you get rid of physical games and actually having a physical copy of something where you can put it in and have watch it and play it all the time then they control it they say well we're taking this away we don't like it or we don't like people play you know whatever it might be then they control the media and by media i mean they control the media as in the physical media that we play they say what comes and goes and no one else has a say on it and then that gets very confusing and very risky but in conclusion i i just wanted to talk about this because i think sony are just massive fuck-ups i mean you go to the website and you know yes you say they're winning the console wars this that and the other and they have some fantastic games but they keep 
keep doing dumb shit. For example, bringing out a Last of Us Part Two, Part Two remastered again. They bring out, they bring out a, a, a bloody console, handhold console. Who the fuck played that? It sold out within seconds. I, you know, you, your PlayStation has to be on to play it. You know what I mean? If it was a, a handheld device and you played it remote portal here and you play it like it looks cool as fuck. But if you could play it like a Switch, you know, go places, play it. That's a sick idea. Why haven't you done that? That would be mental. Instead, you've done this weird play thing. Like, I don't understand about it. Like it just doesn't make sense. And you know, going back to the first point is with Sony's, they're so stuck up and stingy. It's their way or the highway. You know, Xbox are a bit more open and want to work with people, but PlayStation's just like snooty and stick to their own lane and this, that, and the other. And I suppose maybe that's because they are owned by an, the Asian market. I think that's how they do business. That's not racist. You fucking piece of shit. All right, that's just how they do business over there. They're a bit more ruthless and a bit more focused, shall we say? It's a common thing. You, we all know it. So I've just got the bollocks to say it. Mm. Maybe that's why they do it. I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to sort of say this. I think this is big L in terms of where things could go. I, you know, I don't think this is the end and end of the world. By the way, I'm not. I'm not trying to be some drama queen here. But I'm just saying, if they can do it now, what's stopping them doing it for something else in the future? Absolutely nothing. I think it's just something we all need to be careful of and be aware of. Buy physical media. Buy stuff so you own it, so they don't control everything. That's what we need. Anyway, I'm having a sip from my cup. I look into the sunset as a job well done, and I sit and I smile, knowing I have completed world peace. I was trying to remember the Thanos line at the end, and was about to like smile. You know, fuck it. What am I on about? I lost the plot. I'm so tired. Just. God, give me strength. But seriously, let me know what you guys think about this nonsense. I think it's the end. No, I'm kidding. I just think it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next five, ten years in terms of media and physical stuff and whether it all goes digital. I fucking hope not. I'll be really annoyed. But yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.